Hi everyone, I'm Brett Drummond, co-founder of MS Translate and welcome to another one of our research videos. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, what is a biomarker? Before I start this video, if you don't yet subscribe to our channel, please do hit the subscribe button below the video to make sure you stay up to date with all of our new content. So, as I said, Many of you have probably heard of the term biomarker before, but what exactly is it? Well, we think about biomarkers as being somewhat complicated and new concepts. However, they aren't either of those things. In fact, we've been looking at biomarkers for a very long time now, and some of them can be quite simple. A really common example of a biomarker that everyone has probably heard of is blood pressure. Blood pressure can be measured to give an indication on cardiac health. And put really simply, this is what a biomarker is. It's anything that can be easily measured to give us some indication about the state of the body. So why are we interested in biomarkers and why are you hearing about them all the time? Well, biomarkers have a lot of potential value in terms of medical research. Firstly, they can be used to potentially accelerate the diagnosis of a disease. We have seen this before with things like cancer, where we can have biomarkers that can detect the presence of a cancer at a very early stage. As well as that, biomarkers can also be used to gauge treatment responses. So, particularly in clinical trials, an effective biomarker can be used to see whether or not a new drug is actually an effective treatment for whatever disease it is being targeted against. And so in terms of multiple sclerosis, the biomarker that we've heard talked about a lot recently is serum neurofilament light chain. And so what's important about serum neurofilament light chain, or NFL, as I'm going to continue to refer to it as, is that it's something that can be measured in the blood. And so we know that in multiple sclerosis, often to measure what's happening with disease activity, that requires some quite complicated imagery. Maybe MRI scans, for example, as a way to see whether or not there's been any decrease in brain volume or whether any new lesions have appeared. However, it's been thought for a long time that it would be much more beneficial if a person's MS could be monitored via a simple blood test. And so this is where the story of NFL begins. NFL forms part of the myelin sheet that forms part of neurons. And so when there is damage to neurons, as occurs in multiple sclerosis, serum NFL or neurofilament light chain is released into the blood. And so many, many studies now have shown that when there is inflammation and active disease in multiple sclerosis, neurofilament light levels or NFL levels in the blood are increased. So there's a thought that it can be used as a biomarker to detect when there is disease activity in multiple sclerosis. Now, the story isn't quite that simple, and if you've been following NFL studies for a while, you'll know that it doesn't necessarily pick up everything. More recent studies have been looking at when there is disease progression without inflammation or without relapses, and in this case, NFL doesn't appear to be a very effective biomarker. As well as that, we know that over time, people living with MS are just losing neurons as part of that disease process. And so the amount of NFL that's around to actually be released into the blood just lowers over time. And this may also make it less effective in later stages of the disease, especially when inflammation doesn't seem to be a driving component. But so the quest continues whether or not NFL will be useful to see whether or not an individual living with MS, say, for example, has gone on to a new treatment to see whether or not that is working. So let's look at that example in detail to explain how a biomarker may work. So an individual living with MS has had a relapse, and so they've had damage to their nerves. 
that will have released NFL into the blood, which could be detected by this blood test. Let's say after that relapse, their neurologist has suggested that they may wish to change or switch therapies to go on to a new treatment that may be more effective for them. It's obviously difficult to know whether or not that treatment has that treatment switch has been effective. And so one way and one hope that we have for these biomarkers is that that individual could continue to have blood tests to measure the level of NFL. Theoretically, if the new treatment was being effective, we would see those levels of NFL decrease significantly over time as the new therapy took effect. That would indicate that there is no new damage occurring to the nerves. So that is what a biomarker is. A biomarker, as you've heard in the research, is purely something that we can measure to give us an indication as to something that is occurring in the body. In MS, the biomarker that everyone's talking about at the moment is serum neurofilament light, but that is an ongoing story that we will continue to try and unravel to see whether or not this has more clinical potential for people living with multiple sclerosis. So I hope this helps us explain what a biomarker is. As always, if you do have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Please just drop them into the chat below this video, and I'll try and answer them all as soon as possible. Thanks, everyone.